Unit seven on page 16, we're gonna learn another rhythm. This is one that we see all the time. It's very, very common and it can be kind of tricky. It's one of the trickiest rhythms that we've had so far. Okay, so it is a dotted quarter note with an eighth note. Mostly this dotted quarter note is what we're gonna be talking about. Now, the dot that's on the side changes the rhythm. Like we've had a dotted half note before. Now that dot can be a little confusing because it acts kind of special. It's a borrower. So in our dotted half note, a half note is two beats. And when we add that dot onto it, it makes it longer. It makes it three beats. With our eighth, with our dotted quarter note, just like the dotted half note, that dot is going to borrow half the beat of the note that it's with and add it on. All you need to know is that a dotted half note is three beats and a dotted quarter note is one and a half beats. Where a quarter note is one beat, a dotted half note is one and a half beats. So it's going to borrow from the next beat. So if you see the counting underneath, one and two and. So it's that dotted half note is now gonna get one and two, or apple, app. And then most of the time you get an eighth note or an eighth note rest after a dotted quarter note. Now I have on here as the, the fruit salad rhythm nickname, a pumpkin. And what that does is it helps it to stretch it out. So the, this rhythm would sound like pumpkin, pumpkin, pum, um, and that kind of um, second um, ump comes on beat two. So like one, two, and pumpkin. Something that sometimes helps though is to think of it in eighth notes. Our dotted, a regular eighth note is equal to the length of two eighth notes, I mean a quarter note. Regular quarter note is equal to the length of two eighth notes. Quarter note, two eighth notes. But when we add that dot on, it's like it's getting another eighth note. So it's like three eighth notes long. So if we have a word like tomatillo, tomatillo, that kind of helps us hear the way it's supposed to sound. It's long, short, long, short, pumpkin, pumpkin, tomatillo, tomatillo, or apple, 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 apple. Whatever we want to hear, we get three small beats to one small beat. So let's look at this line right here. I'm going to play it. You can clap, say it, and pizzicato all before going on. Okay, so I'm going to start on my, I'm just going to do it on the D string because that's easiest for me right at this angle. And I'm going to say it out loud at the same time. And now I'm going to use the, I'm going to do it twice. The first time I'm going to do it with pumpkins. And then the second time I'm going to try doing apple, apple. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin, 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 apple, apple, red, pumpkin, red. No, that is a red at the end. <laughs> My book is kind of bent. Okay, so now this time I'm going to do it with apple apples. We're going to be, that's called subdividing our beat. It's taking a longer note and thinking of it in shorter intervals to help us make sure we're playing it the right way. Okay, two, ready, go. Apple, 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 red, apple, apple, red. So in that last measure, there is that dotted quarter note, and then there's an eighth note rest. Okay, so going on to boil them cabbage down with our, um, our dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythms. Okay, so this is on the A string, and we are using our blue finger pattern, the key signatures, no sharps, no flats. So we've got C naturals on the A string. Two, ready, go. Pumpkin red, red, pumpkin red, red, apple, apple, red, red, Apple, apple, red, red. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three, four. Okay, so really practice this rhythm and make sure that you really understand it because it is one of the most important rhythms that we have in, in music that we play all the time. And once you learn this rhythm, you can play a lot more advanced and really fun music.